Hey guys, so I am here, and you are there, and I am talking, and you are watching. I know it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've been able to vlog. Oh my god. If my eyes just like naturally wander off in other places, don't mind me, don't judge me, please. I'm just like high and I'm also tr really trying to get used to talking to a camera because I love vlogging and this is something I really want to do and if I want to do it I need to get past this stage of not being able to like be comfortable just like talking to the camera like it's my friend you know at the end of the day if I really want to pursue this the camera is going to have to become my best friend and as well need to be my own best friend but it's just not working it never does and i feel like this is why i can't even record a video get it through get it posted it's it's like you know i've just been sitting on my ass way too much watching all my favorite youtubers like create content sometimes it's like the dumbest content ever but it's funny and it's entertaining and we're gonna watch it because we have nothing better to do so i'm just sitting there like nicole you gotta get up off your ass and vlog and record okay and if you guys are watching this i don't know how you're doing it because i don't even know how i'm recording this but i'm doing it and that's what matters and i need to keep my head up and stay positive normally i smoke out of grava i like blends rolled out of grava but they have to be rolled the way that i like it rolled um i also like spliffs not super harsh spliffs but lately i've been fucking with game leaf like wild berry grape you know little, little flavors like that i don't know why i've just been wanting like fruity blends lately i guess um got a little bit of pineapple pineapple in this bitch i've never tried white owl it's 99 cents for two so it's probably not that good for your lungs and it's probably not that good either but i'm not gonna judge i'm not gonna judge <clears throat> got some very backwards see i'm not the biggest fan of backwards because i feel like they're very poor quality especially like the flavored ones because obviously all flavored leaves are processed in a lot of chemicals but i started smoking out of backwoods why not you know throw one in once in a while one thing i do with my leaves is that when i unravel them i rinse the leaf and then i dry pat it pat dry dry pat it with paper towels and then you could see like some of the chemicals on the paper towels and yeah that's just good to do because you're kind of cleaning off some deadly chemicals so that you could have less deadly chemicals today i think i kind of want to try the pineapple start with breaking up this weed do I like to use grinders? No, I don't. Not unless I'm smoking a joint because, you know, it's kind of more necessary in a joint the way papers burn. But <coughs> when I'm smoking a blunt, I like to have like nice little mini nugs, I like to call them. Nice little, uh, you know, so it's not too crumbled. You get like a nice, smoke 
out of each little nub that burns by inside of the leaf. We have been weeks into quarantine. I live in Florida, so I feel like this is the most laid back um, quarantine states, you know, like we're much more laid back and chill than the other states are just because of the kind of weather we have, you know, it, it doesn't feel like we're crashing as a society, you know, when you're, when you live in a vacation type of paradise, tropical state, yeah, so we have stay-at-home orders, we do have curfews, but have I been going out past curfew? Yes. Have I been driving past curfew? Yes. Have I got pulled over? Me or any of the people that I'm with? No. Knock on wood. And this is wood. Um, so, quarantine, COVID-19, how I feel about it. I feel like it is a great way to control a mass of population, it's mass population control, and they are definitely trying to and have been killing off a certain amount of the population, a certain percentage of the population, I feel like based on their social status, economical status whatever i feel like it's very easy to tell people that if you start experiencing cold like symptoms you have a virus because people get sick all the time i don't know what the statistics are on how many people get sick a day but i'm sure it's a lot and i feel like they use that to their advantage and then you go to the hospital and you go get checked or whatever and maybe they run your social security number through or something and i don't know and if you are sick they do tell you to stay and then they actually give you covid19 so this is like social politics you know distracting the masses from what's actually going on because the united states did bomb iran iran not that long ago a couple days ago and no one really knows about that um i feel like it is affecting the older people the ones that definitely watch the news every day all day every day you know every city has its own local news and everyone watches their own so source their own channel and they just put people in fear and they have people buy out the stores and yeah they just have people at a certain control and they're just controlling them has it been affecting me honestly i think i got sick slight well i did slightly get sick a couple days ago and i'm fine now i'm fine i did in the back of my head think like oh maybe i had covid19 but i was like there's no way first off i already know how my respiratory system is it's not the best because of how much i smoke and then sometimes if i go a couple days without sleeping you know or only napping then my immune system will weaken and i know how my body is i'm very in tune with my body so i can detect something little before it's coming and I knew that's what it was and someone who's been watching the news all day every day that would have experienced what I was experiencing cold like symptoms probably would have freaked out and rushed to the hospital and then who knows what would have happened but I'm not saying it's not real I'm just saying sometimes it's good to be like out of society and not into all that news and shit because if you let that shit control you it's not good but here i am still a little bit with the stuffy nose and slight 
dry cough left. It was definitely worse a couple of days ago, and I got through it just by sleeping, honestly. Sleeping a lot, because the only way you can beat a sickness is when you're sleeping. So if you gotta pop a Xan or whatever to fall asleep and sleep all night, do what you gotta do, sis. And I know this is really bad, because it sounds like I'm promoting a lot of drugs, but I'm not. People are prescribed deadly drugs. And they don't even know it. Others just choose to use drugs that they're not prescribed as a tool. And some people are misinformed about things like acid and psychedelics, thinking that they are drugs. But am I gonna keep this in the vlog? I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna end up ending this video. Because I've said a lot of vulgar shit. And I don't know who's watching this. So, I guess my eyebrows are itchy. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this down because I'm now breaking up this pineapple cigarello that burns slow and we're gonna smoke it slowly and see how we like it even though I'm not always the biggest fan of these papers you know papers I actually really do like not papers, leaves, whatever you want to call them. High hemp. I went to High Hemp's event one year in Miami during Art Basel. It's pretty cool. Everyone was there. And they were giving out a bunch of, you know, papers, high hemp papers and shit. And they're like all organic and like, you know, like that vegan type of vibe. And I actually fuck with her their papers they're like cbd infused too so they're dope they're pretty dope and like if you want to smoke and not be like called a loser for smoking and loving smoke why not make vlogs and eventually get paid off of smoking on camera and talking you feel me like that's where my mind is at no but i've always wanted to just vlog in youtube i've always loved youtube since i was a kid and i loved watching funny youtubers ones that could just like put me into a whole another world like where i'm laughing and happy no matter what was going on in the outside world i guess that's what i'm just trying to create and i know i'm not gonna be so good at it right away but I have to keep trying and I have to keep pushing forward because everything takes time and practice and patience and consistency. Cigarellos take a different type of delicacy to roll if you want to roll it nice. Okay guys, hey, I'm editing now in super bad lighting as you can tell. But I just realized that this sweater matched with the packaging of the pineapple cigarello that I rolled up with. And now I'm eating it with my favorite type of cookies. And my favorite type of cookies have to happen to be matching as well. I guess it's National Yellow Day.